Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrek from Smarthood. Welcome back to part 31 tutorial of Make Your Android Application. Now, in the last two video, we saw how to convert text into speech or in simple words, text into voice. Now, in this video, we are going to use the codes that we saw in the previous video in our application Android interview. Now, let's proceed. Now, this was our text to speech app that we saw in the previous two tutorials. Now this was our main activity. These were the codes that we learned. Now let's close our XML file. Let it be here like this. Close this file. Now open our Android interview application. Now inside our simple question.java and also tough question.java we are going to implement text to speech conversion. So what we're gonna do, we are just going to copy and paste the codes of our text to speech application into our simple question.java because I'm not going to show you the details of the codes. I'm just going to show you how you are going to assemble the codes in our Android interview application. If you want the details of the codes, then please go back and check out my previous two tutorials. Fine. Now here, let us copy first two codes text to speech and int result. Fine. Let us paste it. Now let us comment it. Variables object of text to speech. Fine. Now again go to the main activity. Now here this bunch of codes. Now this was our module 2 inside our on create bundle. If you remember guys then please copy it and paste it inside our onCreate method. This is our onCreate. So inside at the bottom, let's copy and paste it. Control V. Fine. Now change the context. Let it be simple question. Dot this. Let's say let's change the UK to actually let's say US. Yeah, fine. Let's comment it again. TTS object and listener initialization fine we are initializing the text to speech object and also we are initializing the listener fine so nothing tough till now let us open our layout now guys this is the speak button and this is actually what stop button so we are going to add the functionality in these two buttons in similar to what we did in our text to speech application fine so what we're gonna do now here already we have initialized our two buttons B speak and B stop mute. Now let us do one thing. Implement the listener. Fine inside the on click here I'm having the on click method. Now inside it add two other case statement. Case r dot id dot B speak break. Similarly for B stop mute. Fine then again break. Now now these are the two buttons case statements and we are going to add the functionality in these two cases right so go to our text to speech application now here go downside now here you can find out for the B speak we have to use these codes copy it and paste it inside the B speak fine now here it will show some error. Now this is the error because the string that we want here is actually not text. So we have to change it, right? Remove it and also remove the statement because we don't have any edit text here. Our text is specified and the text is stored where inside our simple questions array or you can say simple answer array. Let it be like this blank only. Now go upside. Now our application Android interview is going to read what the answer. Now our answers are stored inside the simple answers string array and when user will press the button then it is going to read the answer stored at the index of this string array right so just copy it. Control C and paste it here. Control V right. So similarly add the functionality to the stop button. Fine. Just go to our previous application. Inside the stop speaking button we are having this code. Just copy it again and paste it inside it. 
control V, control shift F to format the codes. Now similarly guys on destroy method just copy it and paste it inside simple questions dot java. Fine. Till now everything seems to be fine. On destroy method we have overrided. Then on stop functionality I have given. Then on speak functionality I have given. Then rest of the things remains as it is. Now go upside. Now here I have initialized the object and also the listener. Again it's alright. Again it seems to be fine. Now go upside. Now guys here on click listener for three buttons. So we have to provide the on click listener for our B speak button and also B mute button. So let's type B speak dot set on click listener this now B stop mute dot set on click listener context of this activity right now let's change it to three buttons and also speak mute buttons fine save it now let's move upside now here also everything seems to be fine we have not left anything so let's do one thing run our application now our app is running now let's check out the simple questions now what is Android press a button for the answer now click on answer yes now click on this button it is an open sourced operating system that is used primarily on mobile devices pretty boring let's stop it right now when you press on the stop button it stops speaking what it was speaking now all this functionality is quite similar to what I showed you before fine now let's move right side now let's now let us press this button the Google Android SDK now guys you can see even if the answer is not being displayed here it is reading out the answer so we don't want this so what we are gonna do we are going to add the if else statement if the text view is equal to this then please disable the functionality of this button if it is not then please read the answer so what we have to do inside the simple questions or Java we are going to add the functionality of if else inside what inside the else block we are going to add the nested if else statement so if now this text view is actually named what let's see at the top TV answer so let's move downside now let's check it if TV answer dot get text dot to string is equal to what let's say dot equals now it is equal to what this statement so copy it control C and paste it here fine now if TV answer dot get text to string is equal to this statement then let's do what do nothing else execute this statement fine so what I have done here if if the text view that you can see here is equal to this statement then do nothing else speak out what answer has been written in the text view fine now it is totally risky to write the whole string out here so what we're gonna do we are going to let's say copy it control C and go to the top now here let's write private static final string default underscore answer equal to this one fine so this whole string has been converted and stored inside a string variable default answer now guys I have stated this as a final just because I don't want its value to be changed throughout the program so just copy this variable and replace variable this string is available fine now slowly move down and check out yeah here we go so just replace it with default answer fine default answer here now again move down here again replace it 
control V right now slowly move down now here again control V default answer now we are good to go we have changed all the stuff correctly and hope guys everything seems to be fine as of now let's check out and run our application now again our app is running let's go to simple question now let's check out click on this yeah it's not working right now as soon as we click on this button and then again click on this button it is an open sourced operating system absolutely is working totally correctly so finally guys we have implemented text to speech in our application of android interview now guys it's your task now to add all these text to speech functionality in our toughquestion.java just you have to write the codes analogous to what i have done inside the simple questions.java now i am not going to show you it's the tutorial number 66 so please do it yourself right so finally we have completed our application of our android interview fine everything is working fine here right now these are the two buttons see our other apps and rate app that we are going to add the functionality in few tutorials later as of now it requires the concept of implicit intents so far we have seen explicit intents so we will see and check out what is implicit intents what it stands for in the upcoming videos so till then guys meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video this is Shrek from smartword signing off thanks for watching have a good day